Uh, I, I was talking to you on the field there, but same thing here. I mean, what an absolute game, uh, I guess, flipped on its head from the first half to the second half. What did you see? Yeah, it was just our effort. Um, you know, obviously it didn't go our way in the first half, but it's, our mindset's just what's next. What's the next play? You make a mistake. The message is what's next. Doesn't matter what happens. We're focusing on the next play and not harping on our mistakes because we know when we make them, right? So that kind of just drags on and it gets us into a bunch of negative plays in a row. So it's just about focusing on what's next um, to do your best on the next play. Did it feel like it was two totally different games from first half to second half? 100%, yeah. I mean, we got, we got outplayed in the first half, plain and simple. Um, I mean, when Hutchie comes in, I don't think he let a goal in in the third quarter, let in two in the fourth. Um, I mean, he, he was a wall in there. Um, so we have, both, we have confident, confidence in both of our goalies going forward, um, and, and we'll rely on both of them as well. It's funny, you, you mentioned Hutchcraft, and he made as many saves tonight as he did all of last season, but it's, you know, Mike Hazen had talked, uh, touched on just how much confidence he has in both goaltenders, and you saw it there. I mean, he was electric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, we always joke around with Hutchie just saying, stay loose um, in practice. So we'll just start shooting on him without a warm up. And just stay, you got to be loose, Hutchie. Um, so that's kind of what we told him going into the game, you know, going in cold, but he stood on his head for us. So, I mean, we have all the confidence in, in, in Hutchie and, and, and Ralphie as well. That offense was a one two punch with you and Connor Fields, which probably isn't all too new, but how nice is it to just be out there in meaningful lacrosse, right? Another regular season game and see you guys go to work. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's always been a blast playing with Fields. He's just an electric player. Um, but we also got a lot of secondary scoring tonight. Hazer with a big goal, Waters with a big goal. Um, I thought T Mac and Lomas up. Oh, played really well um, our whole offense played well kind of in that second half just using the clock and, and just kind of playing more our offensive style something Hazer and Dan Carey for this matter talked about is how they like that their leaders can can basically lead by example what they say verbally also translates on the floor and some of the other secondary scores Evans Gilray guys that are wearing letters on this team what does it mean to to see them put one in the back yeah, I mean, those guys work as hard as anyone away from the field, um, which in this league you have to do to be, in order to be successful. So you see how in shape they are, how they can go for, for a full 60, and kind of motivates you to kind of go as hard as those guys are going during a game and away from the field. So it's very deserving of both of those guys. I feel like I can just hear the excitement in your voice, right? I mean, how, how fun is this? The season is back underway, and it's such a cool way to win that first game. No, for sure. I mean, it's a date that was circled on our, all of our calendars as soon as the schedule is released. Um, it's a different feeling in the room. Like I said, I feel like our culture is a lot stronger this year. Um, and like I said out to you out on the field, it's just about getting kind of 1% better every single day to be our best team at the end of the year.